We're going to jump into this topic because I don't want to belabor this thing. We've been playing with this for a few uh, weeks. And so let's bring in Dr. Pryor. Dr. Erica Pryor, who Welcome. is um, well, thank you, I'm who is doctor. is is our resident expert in this area, and, and we really really want to take a look at our uh, some spend some time in uh, talking about social media and what its impact has been on urban communities. And social media is a little bit deeper than what we think it is. It goes a little bit further than what we think it, it is. is. It deeper goes than what we think it way is. beyond Facebook. It goes way beyond Twitter. Uh, you know, in fact, there are over seven hundred different outlets. Uh, for social media right now, and that list is growing. So uh, we want to dive into it. Doc, what's going on? What's going on? Thanks for the invite. I'm I, so excited I to know. be here. I know. We've been trying to figure this out, and, and you're such a busy woman. I and, am and busy. You're right. I'm usually too busy for you. I, 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 I she, know. She's right. She's Whoa. right. Oh, that's top shelf over there, killer. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that, that, exactly. You know, that ain't pinnacle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's great goose, baby. That's what that is over there. <laughs> so rock doc. Rock doc. Right, right. So rock doc. Okay. So, I might like get that on a t-shirt. There it is. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Please don't. Get no ish you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> right. We ain't gonna do that. So so tell us a little bit about, in in, in your professional uh, opinion, when we think about social media, how should we frame it? What should be the context of it? Well, I think you really hit the nail on the head when you said that it's much deeper than what we realize. So many people think it's really superficial, like, oh, I'm just, this is my private space, and unless I give you permission to see what it is that I'm saying, it's not out there. And really what we need to be thinking about is social media is the new public square, it's the new town square. Mm -hmm. When you go to social media and you uh, make threats, that's the same as going into an airport, going into a movie right, theater, right. going into any place and making threats. In the same way that if you go on social media in many instances and you talk disparagingly about your employer, then you can be held responsible for that because that's like going out and talking disparagingly about your employer in the newspaper, doing an interview, writing a letter to the editor, or any of the same kind of communication. So people really need to sort of understand that what it is that you say you are held responsible for. You have the right to say what it is that you want. But you also have a responsibility for what you do say. Absolutely. Okay. You also have the right to be held accountable. Absolutely. Exactly. You have the, the right, right people don't yeah. like. danger to remain. <laughs> uh, uh, you see me, I put my hands behind my back. <laughs> Look, hands up, yeah. don't shoot. That's where right. I'm at. Back, right. up. back up. So, so with that said, uh, and, and I want to kind of go zero to mm. Give us feedback on how you think things have changed with the influx of social media on the dynamics of the family and relationships. We're talking relationships as well as uh, marriages. <laughs> And family. Girl, you yeah. show off. Don't sleep Get on it. me. Show don't off. Sleep yeah. on me. That's what I'm you, talking about. You got some letters behind your name, don't you? <laughs> she used a few big words. She's already oh, watching the cop this weekend. She messed around and did some Sesame Street. Right. Right. Y'all go hate me. She's having a big kids conversation over here. Big kids. Big kids. So one of the things that we're finding with social media is that it's be. I mean, and this is actually dating back to even email, is that it's being used particularly in divorce and child custody cases. Wow. So we're seeing people who are using Facebook, who are using Twitter, who are using text messages, in addition to email, of course, um, IM chat messages, to make cases against their spouse for adultery, for oh. child abuse, yes, yes. for all sorts of things that can really actually be used. So wow. it is very clearly the case. If you think you're heading for a breakup, you need to keep it off social media. Mm. You need to maybe wait a couple mm. months before you start posting new pictures of you and your boo. Because yeah. people might question when those pictures were taken. It's adultery. Know, it's, it's, it's evidence of adultery. See, that's yes, why my ex wife won't accept my friend request, man. I guess so, why. so. And along those same lines, though, I know that it has a big impact as far as relationships with Absolutely. your parents and children. Absolutely. Because it's really hard for me to respect my mom if she turned up on Facebook. Well, it could. No, no, no my mom. Well, you know, it really right. does depend on your mom. Exactly. So if you have a picture on I, Facebook I'm and you have those whole, right. I'm gonna look at mom. There's no limits <laughs> to. The, there's no boundary set in the family structure Absolutely. on Facebook. None. It definitely makes a None. difference. Well, and, I mean, they. Sir, I mean, the other half that of that I think is that. Yeah. You have to also be monitoring and be aware and be online with your children and with your family so you know what they're looking at. You know what How, how practical, though, is that? In, in, in handheld smartphone technology uh, day and age, I, I have not seen a child age 
eight or, or younger without a smartphone. Eight or younger? I, I've seen them. What? Eight, eight and older have them. Oh. I've not seen one eight or younger, but oh. eight, the, the eight older that has not had one. So you, you can't police that every day. No, and I wouldn't say you would, well, okay. Um, I am probably a bit of a policer, okay. um, <laughs> if I should say so. Uh, so, I mean, I check my son's cell phone. I review his How text message. He's 14. Like he, I mean, we know that kids are going to leave a network when they see their parents there, right? So a lot of kids are already, they're dumping um, Facebook and they're going to Instagram and Twitter yeah, because yeah. their parents and their and their grandparents are not I've yet on there. I've noticed that. Because yes. neither one, now my son's 22, daughter's 19, so they, they, oh, they kind of do some other stuff. Praise oh. the Lord. You're right, but don't, brother, don't sleep on it. Dirty, uh, <laughs> but but, but dirty, you know. neither one of them really are on Facebook that much. My daughter, she's done with it, mm -hmm. and she will barely use Instagram. She's a Twitter person. Mm -hmm. My son, he may play with Facebook every now and again, but he's more of a Twitter guy himself. Mm -hmm. So it's just interesting to me how we think that's where they are when a lot of times they're not. Right, they're not, exactly. And I mean, as the new social media networks come up, like you said, there's over 700 of them, they're on those, right? So as soon as Vine came out, they were all like dumping Twitter and Instagram and going to Vine. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing that is difficult for parents in any kind of situation because they're, they <coughs> come so quick. Everybody's got like a new crowdfunded right. social mm -hmm. media network yes. and they're they trying to be the next and they go out, so, right? right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It might be up for six or eight months, and then next thing you know, it's like completely gone, and there's a new one. So, but I would say, you know, Snapchat is one of those where you can't you can't monitor it, I've right? Never like, even heard of it. You haven't heard of Snapchat? Not, not Snapchat's either. out there. Yeah. What is no. Snapchat? Tell me about that. Oh, no, no, that's your space. Talk to me. Snapchat is a uh, iPhone app. I believe it's on Android, and basically, you take a picture and it dis you send it, and then it disappears. Mm -hmm. And within what 10 15 yeah. seconds mm -hmm. wow so where it go okay no I will not well, be well that. That, that's the question where that's, does that's it question. go exactly is it captive mm -hmm. it, does it just leave you right is it still maintained someplace else and, right and it, it's it's so it is on data this, that, right it is data that's captured right what? that and that it's has true. been you know shared amongst devices across the network mm -hmm. so so it's not gone it's right gone. it has it's to be gone. i'm not a data network specialist but it has to be somewhere yeah somebody got access to ooh, right, right. so everybody you're listening to urban flow on talk to radio.com make sure you're checking, checking us up out on uh, facebook and twitter as we're talking about social media right now follow us on social media so uh, i don't yeah. They're just banging down your door. It's, it's just crazy. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> it's just crazy. Because I have a daughter. There's no way in hell I'm trying to even engage that. She and I have That's conversations so about, about you know, what her virtual profile and is and what it looks like. And that's what you have to do. Like. You have to have the conversation. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's just like the talk. There is no the talk. It's an ongoing conversation. Right. It's not, not one and done. Exactly. Not. I think you hit a good point when you talked about it starts at home. Because when you talk about virtual boundaries. A lot of us as adults don't have virtual boundaries. Mm -hmm. Right. And so exactly. how can we then expect our I'll children to have those I'll same ideas? Right. <laughs> Some don't. So when we're talking about that, and that even comes back to relationships. Absolutely. When you're having um, individuals where they don't necessarily respect that you're in a relationship or that you're not in a relationship and they continually cross those virtual boundaries, how do you police that piece of it? How do you can how do you conduct yourself a way online where you are always presenting a respective profile so that if your children are looking at it or your family members are looking at it, they see an example of what it is to be respectable online? Well, and you know what? I think that you really just said the words they see an example of what yes. it is to be respectable online. And we just have to remember that everybody's respectable online is not the same. It's different. Chris. Exactly. It's different. But the dynamic of relationships, of interaction, of courtship, of dating, mm -hmm. of, of disagreements in relationship, that has changed mm -hmm. because of social media. Oh, yes, it I has. I know this one person. <laughs> I know the chronology of the drama of wait, the wait, entire wait, 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 marriage. Wait, wait, wait. The what? Yes. The chronology of yes. the drama no, the of word. the entire marriage. Yes. On Facebook. Yes. Oh, it's man. crazy. It's you, know, you know every time they're having drama because she goes on a rant. Yes. Well, you Every time. You check mine. As far as I know, we have never been happier. You'll never know shit that's happening in my room. I should never know. At all. Exactly. I should never know. At all. And well, exactly. that's how grown folks handle exactly. social media. Go on, say it. Go on, right. say it. That's how the grown folks We've do it. We've never been happier. Right. Good. Good.
Even if I'm not, right? Exactly. You'll never know. Exactly. exactly. That's the happiest. Yeah. Right. right. Black love and is that's, beautiful. And that's at called home. a public persona, yes. which is the same thing you do at work, which is the same thing you do when you're at the grocery store. Right. Yes. Right. And right. so I think again, we have to remember to communicate to our children and our family members and other individuals that your social media presence is your public persona. Mm -hmm. And so how is it that you want people to view you when you're out amongst the public, mm -hmm. whether that out amongst the public is at home in your pajamas? Or it's at church. Mm -hmm. And then don't put up those fake pictures, man. Ladies, don't do that. Okay, I'm, I'm so glad you Catfish. said that, Dorian. I'm so glad you don't. said that, Dorian, because I really want to talk about the role that <laughs> social media has on perception Ooh. and self perception. Okay. Okay. Because it's been, and you know what? Come sisters, on with it. Sisters Come. out there, please, you know, I'm not trying to get on. Don't send a disclaimer. I, I don't punk out. Right, right. Don't I'm just do saying, it. I'm right. just saying. These are some things that I've noticed, especially on What Facebook. have you noticed? If you have a headshot and all your pictures are from the neck up, that's a that's a telltale sign not to talk to you. You might be a little swollen. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just well, my daddy wow. told me I better not be with no women that I can carry. Then, 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 it's, well, I'm just saying, if I can't bench press it, don't mess with it. That's what he told me. Hey, <laughs> my, my dad was just like me. He if always liked a bigger one. That's right. Always. You know, if, if, if I can pick, I'm, I'm, I'm around two thirty. Uh, I'm around two thirty, Dave. I started. I started two twenty. I'm saying. And there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with, I mean, big, small, whatever your size. So take the full body shot. Right. I'm just saying, take exactly. Take the body shot. Be true to it. Show me what you got. Exactly. Show so, the muffins. So Show, it. Show all up. the muffins it's, you got. It's winter time. Show it off. It's winter time. Show it off. I ain't got but one. I ain't got but a sheet. They're designing iPhone apps in like elementary and middle school, yeah. right? Yeah. They're writing full on programs. Right. They're creating their own right. companies at 15, 16, 17 years old. So I think when we sort of have those, as you said, expectations for our children and we're like, we have a positive relationship with social media, we have a positive relationship with technology, mm -hmm. and that's what we communicate to them because we want them to have a positive relationship with the world. And by sort of approaching it from the policing standpoint, I think that we communicate a negative relationship and a negative perception. Mm -hmm. So I think we really have to sort of take that into consideration that we want our children to be involved in technology and social, but make sure that we're saying the rules that apply online are different from the rules that apply offline, but you can use some of the same skills that you have for interacting with people um, in real life online, and that that can be productive, and that it's not a place where you know you have expectations for yourself. So yeah. communicate those always everywhere. So it's a case of technological advancement with cultural lag. So Absolutely. And, and the, the, the what? part that scares me a little bit is it's, it's culture's culture's ability to keep up with, with technological advancement and the rate that it advances. But what scares me is all of the crap that happens in the meantime before it catches Parents up. Parents need to educate themselves <laughs> on Stuff what it out, happens on social media and know the networks to at least know what your kid's talking about, right? right? right. I mean, if you are, have a good relationship with your child and they're telling you, yeah, I got a Facebook and I'm on Instagram, make sure that you know what's going on on there. there it is. Parents, make sure you know what's going on on there and educate yourselves. That's the last word yeah. from Dr. Erica Pryor. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank David Danger Smith, Amala. Yes, Girl, yes. we got it in today, didn't we? Yes, we did. Thank you all for listening to Urban Flow on TalkTamerRadio.com, the world's greatest radio, radio the way it should be heard. Be safe, family. Yes, sir.